I might be overthinking this, but I think there's something going on with my large Anthurium Magnificum Cross Regal. I don't know if you can see, but we have some browning edges on the leaf. Now, some of the leaves have always had these brown edges like this one. Um, however, some of these leaves, which this one was actually in pretty good condition, I've only just noticed that it's starting to brown. And this is one of the latest leaves over here. And I hope you can see it in this, in the darkness, the, uh, the grow lights have gone off now. Um, but you can see that we've got some yellowing on the edge. And some of the leaves at the back of the plant also seem to be having some of this brown edging. I do have a habit of waiting a little bit longer than I should to check on my plants. But with this one being what it is and it being by far one of my most impressive anthuriums, my favorite plant, hands down, I have to go in and see what's going on in the root system. This plant is growing in a 100% semi-hydro mix. I haven't had it in a water reservoir for, for the winter because I realized that that was something that my other plants didn't like. So I've taken it out of that. But for whatever reason, something's going on. So we need to check it out. I will say this plant is also putting out an inflorescence. It also just put one out and uh, it wasn't successful. Nothing happened, but there's another one on the way. When a plant is producing inflorescence, it usually, starts to send a lot of its energy into that. And sometimes you have some leaves. But in the time off. I've had this plant, I haven't had that issue. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but I think it's time for us to sort it out and to really see what's going on under the soil. So this is what I was talking about. Have a look at that. So this leaf was damaged when I was actually repotting the plant into this bigger pot. So that's fine. That's always been here. It's these other leaves that are concerning me a little bit. You can see we have quite a bit of browning on the edges. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but this central area here is getting quite light. That was the biggest concern for me because that looks like it's going yellow, which means that the leaf could fall off any day now. So to put a stop to that, I really want to get into the roots to see what's going on. So more brown edges. This leaf right here is the latest, the newest leaf. Uh, you can see that most of it is fine. However, we have some yellow in just around the edges, a lot of yellow in here and some brown in. This is the inflorescence I was telling you about, which could be a factor um, where the plant is throwing a lot of its energy into this inflorescence. Um, but I don't know if that is the cause. This was the other inflorescence that the plant grew. Um, I thought it was going well and then it just sort of died back. But this is basically the habit that this plant has it will basically start to throw an inflorescence, look promising, and then before you know it, you're left with this, just nothing. But I've come to expect that with the uh, Inferior Magnificum Regal. Maybe it's just not a very fertile plant. Very good at producing pollen though. Another thing I noticed, and this is quite worrying, was that the plant is quite wobbly in the pot. So this is what I mean by the plant is quite wobbly in the plant look at all of that movement and i'm not really moving it that much so that's quite worrying i did add on another layer of pond to the top um, and that was just to hold the plant down and that was about a week ago at this point i think i'm gonna have to go back in and and see what's happening in the roots there are still some good signs so you can see we have a new leaf coming up just here so that's looking really good. I believe it is a leaf because it's coming out of a new sheaf, a new, uh, I'm not quite sure what this bit is here, but with anthuriums, new leaves come out of this, whereas inflorescences come out of the actual leaf petiole itself. I'm gonna try to remove a little bit of the pond from the top of the pot and to see what's going on just under the surface. And if I can tease the plant out, I will. And so far, so good. Have a look at these roots. These roots look in really good condition, all of them. I haven't found one that looks a bit weird yet. You can even see we have a new growth point just here. So the plant was getting ready to sort of bud out. So, so far, good signs. Let's continue searching. Let's continue looking and see what we find. I think we have another growth point just here as well. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. Successfully managed to take the plant out of the pot. And first things first, I don't think there's anything to be concerned about. Most of the roots look really, really good. I think there are one or two, like over here, that are a little bit mushy. So I will do a little bit of a clean. I'm not gonna try to move around the roots too much. I do think 
there might be an issue with the, an air pocket because there's some big sort of gaps here so it might just be that the roots weren't getting in contact with the substrate so that might be what was causing the plant to look a little bit worse for wear i do see that there are actually two separate plants in here you can see that the one over here is almost an offshoot of the main plant and the main plant is doing some work to push out some others as well so the plant is working hard so uh what i'll do i'll just try to try to loosen the roots as much as possible and uh, do a little bit of a better job repotting this plant this time around so about five minutes ago there about i told you that um the roots look really good they look in really good condition i don't know what's going on with this plant and then i said something about it looks like there might have been a few void spaces in the inside i was kind of right on both points so let me show you what the plant system looks like now these are all of the healthy roots and doesn't it look delicious those root noodles looks really really healthy what you haven't seen though is this this is the mass of roots that i had to take out of the center of this plant there was a lot a lot of dead roots so even the ones that look like they might be alive if you look at where they kind of stem from it's all dead so there was definitely something going on with this plant and i'm so so glad that i stepped in when i did oh my days i could have lost this plant i could have lost it i was really close to losing it but yes this is where we are these are the roots that are left and there might still be some on the inside of that pot we will check we will see oh my goodness oh my goodness so after inspecting all of the roots and removing all of the bad ones i then repotted the plant and placed it back in the exact same spot that it was in before i made sure that the plant was pulled ever so slightly further back from the light as it produces a lot of heat that could cause leaf burning i made sure that the plant was potted slightly lower into the planter now this is quite a tall planter so my hope is that as the plant grows upwards i can then backfill with a little bit more semi-hydro mix so that this pot can be its forever hole the plant is looking okay here and fingers crossed we have prevented this plant from going downhill any further but that's all thank you so much for watching and as always keep planting